independent artist? No, nah, like, it's the, working we, we, with them. Yeah, we, not yeah. even with like a, a deal situation, but just independent artists in general. I mean, I mean, uh, artists is people. So like, okay, so like, if me and you, if me and you go to an insurance seminar, and and it's about selling health insurance, they gonna tell us two ways how to do it: talk to people or talk to companies. My nigga, my brain is on companies. So of course, artists, artists is a part of the umbrella because the artist works for the company. I'm talking about the yeah. company. I, I deal with. I'm a big thinker. So every, everything that I'm talking about is not about artists. It's about the companies. What are the companies? What the companies? What they're doing? You know what I'm saying? How can we disrupt their business plan? You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Like I can easily go knock on somebody's door and say, "Hey, I want to give you an estimate on your roofing, siding, and windows." But it's different if I go to Berkshire Hathaway and I say, "Hey, look, we need to do this for for these for these residential homes in in Omaha, Nebraska." You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. um the big the, well, so, well, so well, the well, bigger well. so the bigger picture is to go to the organizations, not the artists. The, you yeah. know what I mean? So it's about the organization. If we make them change, then that changes everything else. If we go to the United yeah, if we not, go if we go to know. Yeah, exactly. If we go to the White House and put a petition in for the United States government for, for being illegit, then that changes the entire system and the people that lives yeah. under that system. So so if we change the system inside of the organization then that changes everything like you and me, the little people, artists, da 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 da. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. the question is why would you go to the big companies um, instead of sticking small and doing it yourself? My, my opinion on that is like, it's kind of like a Kickstarter. Like you need the crowdfunding and shit, or you need the funding in order to get yourself started up, in order to get fucking the gears turning and moving in order to get funding. And that's right? why we go to them. Yeah. Because these four right, are focused right. on funding. See, see, and I'm glad he said that. That's a good point because. The independent film, television lines, they focus on four things. They focus on independent production companies, televisions, television companies, distribution companies, and studio affiliate companies. All four focuses on film finance. What that means is all four of those companies, they come together to help raise money for films. That's it. And this is a, this is a global trade organization that specializes in those efforts. So guess what that means for us? Yeah. Our work is easily done because all we're doing is leveraging the resources that they have into a market that's disruptive. And what market is disruptive? Music. That's a disruptive market. It will always be a disruptive market. So it's perfect, bro. And then all we got to do is just calculate the numbers of how it's going to make sense of how people can raise money, whether that's through bootstrap, kickstart, da 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 You know what I mean? Yo, I yeah, mean, especially if you like you, you talk on you got a plan. Good for a while. That's like a, that's the one thing you just like. You have a solidified plan and you have a way of like sourcing and crowdfunding, or it's like you know you got ideas and you got going on. You build anyone with that, they're gonna take you a hundred thousand more seriously than if you just spit an idea for someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah, I got, I got documentation yeah. to show you. So like that way you can see it for yourself. Like I got years of research on this yeah, stuff. Sure. So like I, I'm only, I was yeah. only giving you, you know, bits and pieces because it's hard to really. Uh, transcend a lot of information over the phone. So, I mean, I got documentation for you to see too, whenever, you know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. You got, uh, you got Instagram? Yeah, I got Instagram. I got LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah, I'll hit you up on Instagram. I'll get you on Instagram. Alright, alright, cool. Send that back. Yeah, man. Dude, we'll stay in touch for sure. Let's fucking. Let's chop it up. I like, I like where you're cooking up, dude. It's fucking solid, man. Everything happens for a reason, right? I'm gonna head out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head out. All right, see you next. <laughs> yeah, peace, dog. What's his Instagram? I'm gonna write it down. Uh, I think it's Nick Bonin. I think it's just Nick Bonin. How you supposed to ask him? Let me double check right now. Yeah, just double check. You can do it together, bro. Nick dot Bonin right there. Yeah, man, he's making big moves right here. Um, I'll, we can add each other to an Instagram group and just talk over there too. Sure, man. I'm gonna, Cause I'm gonna definitely spend the time to go up there. Yeah, this dude's fucking solid, man. He's, he's really talented. He's super fucking dope. Hell yeah, fucking. Cause look, these these three work under Rio. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so with these three, folk. All this is data. Yeah. 
data, because this is how our artists get paid. Right. Data. This is from content. It's all different. That's why I did it like that. Hmm. Streaming, okay. What comes with streaming comes with what? Content. Mm -hmm. Because anything that you put on that device streams so that way other people can look at what you've been recording since this morning, since I met you. Yeah. That's content. Yeah, it's content. Now, this is, this would be called the what? Distributors. Because once when, once when the content is streamed Tomorrow, and collected, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it makes sense why these three are working under this umbrella. Now, what's, what makes these three catchy is that now they focus on asset classes. Yeah. And they also focus on trades and exchanges. Because now, any data that Nelson Music collects, they exchange it with a royalty. Hmm. Data, data that stream is exchanged through a royalty. Right. Because that data has value. Okay. Hmm. How many times has the Chris Brown video guidance with Drake has been streamed? Now, Only now, a couple million, now, right? Exactly. Guess yeah, what? Yeah, Guess yeah. what? Now that data is transcended into a royalty. And now it's being monetized because now it's being accessible to people like you and me that can view it a thousand billion it's times. Fucking crazy, right? See what I'm saying? It's crazy. All over the fucking world, man. So 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 how we get into the business is this. We we use trading. You ever heard of Forex trading? Yeah. We coming in as traders. So think So about, you, you mostly do Forex? Yeah, I do trading. Think about the trading platform and how forex trading is used. We apply that same method into the music industry. Hmm. Hmm. So, Interesting. So that's technically investing in stocks, right? Yes. Which is a within part of, within music. Yes. Which is called a music asset class. Which is called a music asset class. You get it. Yes. Yes. Interesting. In the music, I haven't heard about that market too much yet. That's interesting, bro. Only the big boys know about it. <laughs> Listen, let me show you right now before you leave. Ready to go Google right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only the big boys know about it. Chris Brown just collected his royalties. You seen that on the... Listen, I'm telling you. It's big shit. I'm, I'm going to sit there. People ain't, people ain't on it. I thought I had a fucking... The sandwich place is called Fat Sal's, right? Mm -hmm. Look, investing in music... Look, look. Investing yeah. in music royalties as an asset class. Hmm. Right? Asset classes refers to category of investments like stocks, bonds, or real estate. Yeah. You need money to invest that, though, huh? No. 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 You know why? Because this, this will re-leverage them. We're trading data. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, how, how, oh, do you, how do you go oh, about oh, how do you go oh, about oh, doing oh, that? Oh. Yeah. The shit gonna start when you leave me today and go to your class, yeah. you're gonna text me because that shit gonna start clicking. You're gonna be like, oh my fucking god. I just gave you the hint. Think of it like forex trading. Right. So trading forex trading is like a stock. But except you're incorporating that into the music asset classes. Hmm. So what is the music asset class? We just read the definition of it. As an artist, you have a music catalog. That's a part of your asset class. Right. As an artist, you have music royalties. That's a part of your asset class. As an artist, you have a part. You, you have da 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 da. You know what I mean? So we. So that's an accumulation of data. So you're trading off the data from your amongst artists from your class. Okay. Right. We're trading off data amongst artists. But what does that mean? What are you giving up? What rights are you giving up by trading the data? Like, would you be giving up your masters or no? No. Keeping your masters, the, only, the catch is to be able, what I just read to you, a thousand dollars of that data goes uncounted. And that's for streaming, let alone. Yeah. A thousand views a day. You just, you, you gave the answer for public performances. You go over international and, and your shit get played in the movie, you get paid big bucks. Right. That's the purpose of using, that's the purpose of trading data. Interesting. 
So you trade over your public performance rights? In other, in other, in other parts of that asset class, yes. Okay. So basically, you're selling them your, your, uh, fucking the the pee in the circle, in order to uh, shit, in order to invest that. So it's almost like, all right, if if, if you're an artist and I'm an artist, yeah, and we both talented, like a Nick Bonin, but Nick Bonin didn't get signed by anybody yet. We're going to use this data and Nick trade Bonin. this. We're going we're going to trade this data. We're going to use this data and trade it with big companies like this. Interesting. Interesting. That's so, what we doing. What you, but, but what what exactly are you giving up? Public Nick, performance Nick, rights like you Nick just said it. Yeah. BMI, ASCAP, your money would just sit. Nick said it. He he said it. Your money would just sit if you register with them. Yeah. It would just sit. And it'll go to a Katy Perry. You listen, you remember what he said? If you register with BMI or ASCAP, your yeah. money would just sit. Because you gotta maintain that. Hmm. So now we take all the content, all the royalties that an artist can make through this platform. Because remember, you've been making money from royalties and you've been making money from streaming content, hmm. right? Right? So now that data that's being extracted, I'm extracting data from BMI, yeah. is now going somewhere else. It's a three step process. Every artist, listen, every artist, bro, already huh. registered for BMI and ASCAP. Every artist is not getting paid from BMI and ASCAP because their money is sitting. So that data that's been uncounted for for artists that have been registered for BMI for 20 years and didn't get paid a dime. Yeah. Now what, what? Now where does that data go? So the data is just sitting there. The data is the most. The data is the most powerful thing. Think so the data. Things. What exactly is the data, though? I'm gonna give you an example. The government, United States government. Yeah. If you go, on, you read white pages, white pages, and all. White pages, as in like the contact Articles, books. Articles, yeah, PDF books and shit. Oh, not no, not you too much. You ever read a government file much. book? A government book? No. All right. So with the government, right? Yeah. So now you got a situation like you can't get you can't get data on on uh, on NASA from the government. You can't do that. So what's one thing the government will tell you that you need to do in order to get information about NASA? NASA is the only aerospace technology company in the world. Hmm. We can't go there because guess what? We don't got no fucking badge to work for the fucking government to get that information about NASA. Yeah. So what's another way we can get the data? Purchasing it. Exactly. Which is the same way how people purchase music. Which is the same pe way, way how people you purchase streams and da 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 So information is powerful. That's what drives the world. So the data is analytics. The da exactly. So I'm like right. like the people who listen to your music and where they're from. Oh, okay. oh, oh right, I'm getting you. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. This shit finna start clicking. Interesting. All it, right. Good. Like, I see that. Yeah. The question is obtaining the data, how you would access the data and then we sell ask, it. We would access it from these three. We access it from the big boys Because they're the ones that work with these people But you would need a substantial amount of streams In order to leverage that Is the thing, right? Uh, yeah, but we're getting that from the industry We're we get, we getting all the streams We're getting, we getting everything from them This is the government right now We're getting everything from them And we're comparing their numbers To the numbers that's uncounted for That's out here in the world Because hmm. there's people that's out here That's making continuous music they not. They don't collect all that data. You you you, you think right now they? There's some people right now that's making music in fucking Thailand right now. You yeah. think they got that data yet? No. So can you purchase the data, or can you just view it online for free? Huh? Do you, would we have to purchase the data from other artists since it's not legally owned by us? Right. Right. Good question. Uh, we could. We could use the data as like a sample. I, I, I'm trying to think of the word for it. The correct word for it. Uh, we can sample it. 
We can like. So you would you would leverage data from other people who have unclaimed data. Yes. And sell that. We're well, not really sell it, but to or, get them yeah. in mainstream. Interesting. Right. To get it mainstream. You know what I mean? I mean, and, it, I, and the artists would pay you for that. Yeah, sure. Okay. The industry, okay. the artist industry, Wait. whatever. You get big bucks for it. So, but the, it's like this. Yeah. If Drake put out a song right now, how right. the fuck did he get 10 million views in one fucking day? That's data. Who picked up that data? But let you put out a fucking song the same day and the same hour as Drake, and you have maybe 100 views versus his 10 million in one fucking day. Yeah. It's the data that sets the artist apart. You got Nicki Minaj here. You got Cardi B. Yeah. It's the data in between the artists that's different. Now you got the talk in Hollywood. Well, Cardi B's better. That's the reason why she's still hot and Nicki Minaj's not. That's the reason why Nicki Minaj's not playing music anymore because Cardi B's hot. It's the data. Hmm. People listening to Cardi B more on different platforms. Right. You know what I mean? So... You'd be using unclaimed data. Yes. But who? To now, to now put that unclaimed data into the market to add value. Because everything that's uncounted for, it has value, bro. How would you claim another artist's data, though? Off the registry. So would you purchase it, or would uh, you just make a list? Like, is it available public domain, do you know? Well, well, that's not... That, that wouldn't be a conversation for the artist. That would be a conversation for the global organization. Interesting. You know what I mean? So they would probably charge you. They, they, or, or, I'm about leverage. Fuck a charge. I learned that early. And I'm glad that I learned that when I was younger. You don't need money. Don't let people tell you to take money to make money. No, they fucking lie. It takes strategy to be around people with the money that can pay you money. Investors. Yes. Okay. Strategy okay. wins. Fuck a money. So you bring a business plan to an investor saying, we're going to purchase this data, uh, compile it, and then sell it. They're going to purchase it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm they going to purchase it. I'm not purchasing shit. And I'm, they, would, I'm, they I'm, would pay you to do the hard work. Pay, exactly. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Interesting. You know what I mean? Not even pay me because it ain't got nothing to do with a single person. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know many investors out here. I know one venture capitalist out here. I mean, I know, um, I, I, mean, I know investors. I, I need artists, though. That's, that's, that's going to help my, my, with my plan. Yeah. I need artists. I need people that can go with me to, to the to the spot. But yeah, data's where it's at. Hell yeah. You know why? Cause all the music, all the music that's made is through these platforms. Network processing. Interesting. So, near field communication. Mobile to mobile, device to mobile. Electronic point of systems. Mobile point of systems. People use that right now. Mobile point of systems is what? Uh, cash at me. That's mobile point of systems. Ah, v, uh, VV, uh, Vimeo. That's mobile point of systems. <laughs> PayPal. That's mobile point of systems. Interesting. Interesting. Electronic point of systems is what? Oh, uh, I don't have cash. You take card? Okay, cool. This is electronic point of systems. Let me see your phone. Swipe. Swipe. Sign. That's electronic point of sale systems. <laughs> Network processing. This is all used in music. Broadband. Am I not lying? Broadband. Right? All of that. So data's where it's at. Hell yeah, dude. So all right. Yeah. I need to give me some fucking grub, but hit me up about this. Seriously, you. send me a message and keep me up to date. I I'm definitely interested, you know? Gosh. I, I think you are uh, you might be on to something fucking good here, man. You're a tech guy, so I'm going to need you anyway. All right. So we, can, so we can calculate this tech shit. Yep, let's get this money, but man. I'm, I'm going to be working on this, so I ain't going to be doing nothing. I'm going to be working on this for a while. Got to leverage Hollywood. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hollywood. Oh, yeah. I mean, just the people you can meet on the street, you can probably meet investors out here. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Because at, at the end of the day, bro, that, that's, that's, what, that's what big guys like. The, look. All they doing, to be honest, my brother, all they doing is fighting over data, man, to be honest with you. They all, yeah. all, every, the world fights over data. Think about Illuminati. If you know something that people don't know, they're going to kill you, right? You know about Illuminati, right? Yeah, of course. Information. It's fucking, yeah. So, yeah, man, so, Illuminati's so, gnarly. Dude. So, so, if you can, so, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to build a partnership to, to, to we want to we wanna be the data. We data guys, man. Hell yeah. All right. All right, bro. Peace. I'm going to keep going, bro. Hey, great meeting you, dog. Great to meet you, uh, too. I added you up on Instagram, so shoot me a message. I'll put you in a group with Nick.
All right, bro. All right, Peace you. out. Good luck. Stay in touch. Oh, yeah. Only a day stream? Yeah, just temporarily for now. I'll be back again later. That was a trip, dude. That was a trip. <laughs> I mean, dude, honestly, if he can bring me a full business plan that I can look over with the step process, investors, I'm down. If, if, I, can, if I can research this and figure out a liability-free way to get involved, I'm, I might be interested in looking into it. But until then, talk is talk. I'm down with what he's saying. I can, I can get it to an extent. I just need to know how it works, what I got to put into it, and what I'm possibly going to invest. That was crazy, dude. Check you out. Like, hey, y'all always saying that shit, man. Who's he happy? What's up, dude? Yeah, we're talking about Forex. Interesting. You don't understand the music registration companies? Yeah, it's 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 a different game though. But yeah, that's something he's got to know, you know. Go pick that chick up, though. Nah, not my type. I'm into them white women, man. It's hot as fuck out. It's crazy. Because you're killing the street? Nah, bro. It's haunted. It's haunted. Might have had a partner. Nah, dude. Chill out. No, then people here are pretty chill. I don't, I don't got any money. Straight up, I, everything is on the card. I could just cancel it. I don't really care. Somebody already spoke up. GG. Yeah, it's GG, bro. I'm hungry, dude. I'm fucking hungry. Why are you doing something? In it for money or in it for art? In this case, it would be money. If that, if this business plan were to work out and it were to be thoroughly flushed out, holy shit! Look at this dude's hair. It'd be for the money, not for the art. That's just it's investing funds for the art. This is a song I linked to on Twitter. No, no, it's in, I'll have to check it out. I haven't really been on Twitter. Start our own label. I'd be down. Look at this man. It's crazy, bro. Hollywood is crazy. I was kidding. About what? About the song? Kind of the payment. Am I the work ethic, man? Yeah, you know it, dude. You gotta do what you gotta do. This is an Eric Carter song. Okay, cool. I'll check it out when I get a chance. But your boomer wants some more, fella. Okay, I'm fucking hungry. Um, how much are Chick Fil A salads? I'm trying to eat healthy and shit, man. I pulled an all nighter, so I'm trying to eat more fucking healthy and shit. So now I hear some frozen gummies, dude. That's a real hot. How much are the frozen gummies? That's genius. Two bucks? How how big are they? I think we're gonna make that. I might have to swoop some of those frozen gummies, dog. I might have to swoop some of those frozen gummies, honestly. I didn't know the full legal implications. No, but if he comes to me with a research plan, with thoroughly thought out legal implications, I may be intrigued. If it's gonna work, it would have to be done by people in the business, buy the business so they can make money from you all, true? Go sit in a fast food joint or something for a while. I actually do have to go to class in a bit here. But while you were caught up, we were chatting. <laughs> Hell yeah. Trying to eat healthy, want to get a salad? Hey, frozen gummies though? Listen. Listen. I'm feeling those frozen gummies, bro. No, I'd have a mad sugar crash though. As I said, I haven't really like slept at all. So frozen gummies probably aren't the move, you know? I think there's there's things that are the move and frozen gummies aren't them. <laughs> you know? Don't lose your artistic rights, man. Well, you kind of got it. Most of the shit you do, you got to lose artistic rights. Unless you go fully independent, which is a hustle. Like, for example, if I were to work with Void Striker, he wants 100% of the mechanical royalties. So I would be giving up, uh, I believe... 
I'm not sure exactly. I can't really think right now. But I'd be giving up something. You kind of you kind of got to give up something in the industry if you want money in advance. But um I don't know. Go get some white girls numbers for the chat. For the fucking chat, dude. Giving up the Mustard Man World Tour 2020, you know it. CX, oh god. What a murky of shit. <laughs> murky of shit, yoink, my shit now. What's up, dude? Dude, trust me, live performance is where the money is at. True. True, man. 100% and merch sales. Yo, what's up? How you doing, murky of shit? <laughs> yoink. You, you part of the CX gang out here? They never give up live performance right. Nah, that's fucked. I ain't doing that. What is live performance right? Is that the C in the circle or the P in the circle? Your masters isn't live performance rights. However, I believe live performance rights is your Spotify streams. And yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's your Spotify streams. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty hard to give up your, your performance money. Unless you really don't know what you're doing at all. Cool and cuz. Supposed to be doing a project due tomorrow, but nah. What's the project about, dog? I'm fucking hungry. But goddamn, I'm not trying to pay 10 bucks for a salad. That's some bullshit. That is way too expensive, dude. This fucking city's killing me. Who owns the life for once rights to CBT? <laughs> Cock and ball torture. Yo, what up, what dragon? What's going on, man? It's been a minute. How you doing? A bit better off going independent. Big music companies are dying. That's true. That's true. I mean, it depends on what they can do for me. If I have an offer from 88 Rising, if I have an offer from 88 Rising, they give me a big fat advance, and they also help me market, and connect me with other 88 Rising people and all that, I'm kind of down. Honestly, I'm kind of fucking down. It would suck to an extent, but I'd be kind of fucking down, bro. I'd be down with that. Hey, tell me what's up, dude. I'm gonna take away my CBT, bro. You know it. You know, hey, get, hey, get your hands off my CBT. Get your hands off my damn CBT, all right? Listen here, you like? Big music companies aren't going to die without claiming every second of content on the internet first. That's why you don't let them claim every second of your content. Hey, we out here. Peace, dog. That's why you don't let them claim every cent of your of your content. Why are 70, 80 year old performers still doing tours at that age? Because that's where the money is. Oh, 100%, dude. We were just talking about this in my class the other day. Reunion tours make bank. Make bank. Make bank. Think about it. Think about it. Why do you think, why do you think NSYNC, NSYNC is doing another tour, bro? What? Or Backstreet Boys. No, Backstreet Boys. Why do you think they're doing another tour? Because all their fans from 20, 30 years ago, guess what they have now? Guess what? Somebody guess what they have now, bro. Bailey, what's up, man? Idiot Rising is cool. I'm talking about places like Sony and Universal. Yeah, fuck that. Um, Idiot Rising is more of a hybrid management company. I've looked into it a bit. Um, I'm pretty sure they do record deals as well, but I think for the most part, it's like hybrid management which is what I'm honestly looking for because then I can stay relatively independent. But if they were to offer me a record deal, I might take that, honestly. That man loves CBT, what a homie. <laughs> Absolute homie mode, dude. You know it, man. Hey, this isn't so bad. It's like, it's a little bit shaky. How, how much shakier is it than when, when I'm on my stabilizer? This ain't too bad. It's pretty chill. I got it on a selfie stick right now. Honestly, this angle looks great, dude. This is looking tight. It's a little, it's a little bit shaky. Getting a little bit motion sickness, but check the top ten grossing tours last year. Check the age of the performers. Really? Interesting. Nice hat. Thanks, man. Basic as fuck. Um, yeah, dude. As I was saying, the reason why Backstreet is now doing tours again is because all their fans, who used to be little kids, are fucking growing up, and they got money, dude. They got that money, bro. They're grossing. They're, they're making fat stacks, bro. They can charge like a hundred bucks for a union ticket. All these people were like, oh my God, I used to see NC Backstreet Boys when I was a kid. And now I'm older and I got that money. And so they shell out a hundred clams because they can. That's that. 
fat stack economics, bro. They're selling nostalgia. Exactly, exactly, 100%. Are we coming to class with you? No, probably not.